particular Indianapolis community. Yes, so the businesses are all part of a newly formed Fall Creek Business Collective. It's meant to get people excited about the businesses in that neighborhood. 24 Hour Details for E. Lewis is live with a few of those business owners. You've been live all morning. She's live now with more. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, we are at a dental office, Renew Dental Arts, and here with me now is one of the owners, Sarah Miller. So I don't know if I've ever talked to a dental office about getting involved in a block party. So tell me yeah. why you wanted to do this. Well, I mean, we can thank Tamika Ketchins, first of all, <laughs> for putting this together. It's such an amazing opportunity to bring all the businesses in our neighborhood together, and it's just a genius idea so that we can help support each other and bring the community in and more people can get to know about our businesses and it's just a great opportunity, and we're excited to give back to the community in this way, too. We'll give away lots of free stuff. Oh, fun. And you moved to this location around Thanksgiving. Why did you want to come to this neighborhood? Well, we've lived, Chris and I have lived in the neighborhood for about 10 years, and our kids go to school here, we go to church here, and we wanted to work here. And um, we've created real community-based practice out of Columbus, Indiana, and now we'll be shifting up here full-time and are just so excited to be involved in the community and walk to work and we've kind of always wanted to have a practice on this very corner so it's a dream come true. Well that's awesome congratulations and it'll be a fun event tonight we have another business here as well Artisan Picnic Sarah Reuter is here with that and she brought some of her goodies and she has an interesting oh well before I fall she has an interesting story behind her business tell me how you started in April how did you come up with this idea? So about a year ago, I was in Paris, and in Europe, there's a butcher shop, cheese shop, bread shop on every corner, and uh, I just had this experience in the park picnicking, and I thought, you know, I really want to recreate this experience and start my community here in Fall Creek Place. We have so many great local food artisans here, Goose the Market, I've been shopping at since 10 years ago, after I think they just celebrated their 10-year opening. Um, and so I just, you know, I've always shopped local, eat local, and I wanted to bring that concept here. And so what do you do? What is Artisan Picnic? So we create these European, we some yeah, too here, we yeah. create these European inspired uh, gourmet picnics. They're filled with local, fresh, artisan made food. So uh, we partner with uh, folks from Goose the Market, um, Tulip Tree Creamery is local here in Indy, Traders Point Creamery are kind of our main meat and cheese. Uh, partners. Home Ec Preserves is another vendor we work with. She does some amazing jams and preserves. Um, the produce here in this one, this is our vegetarian gourmet box that we're going to be featuring tonight at the block party. We have all these great vendors that are making up great meat dishes and so we thought we'd bring a fresh produce uh, basket to the uh, event. And uh, yeah, just has been a really fun and exciting venture. Yeah, it sound, it's a really awesome concept and we're so excited for you and we're so excited for the block party and if you would like to attend, we have the time and location. We'll get all of that on wishtv.com. Drew and Lauren. Thanks so much, Brittany. It's 8-12 right now.